Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise in uh, Windows Forms. We are going to create a simple name formatter. Basically, the user will enter first name, middle name, last name, and a title, and we will format it into uh, in different ways. For example, if the first name is Kelly, middle name Jane, and last name Smith, and the title Miss, then we'll format it as Miss Kelly Jane Smith also Kelly Jane Smith without the miss or just first name and last name uh, and other forms that are all listed here. So uh, we have our uh, form, I already created it. It has the first name, middle name, last name and the title text box that the user will enter. And when that happens or after that happens, the user clicks format name and the formatted name outputs into a, a list box. Uh, so, um, at this point you should already know how to build a simple form like this, how to drag the text boxes and button and all that stuff on the form. So let's just concentrate on the coding and the logic behind uh, the application. Okay, so when I uh, double click the format name, I go to my uh, event handler and I can construct the, the strings to uh, put together the name based on the user input. And it's fairly simple. Uh, so the first option is the title, period, and then uh, first name, middle name, and last name. So uh, I'm going to add to my uh, list box. So my list box is called LST output. So when I click that and uh, use items, basically items is all the items in the list box i can add to it i can add another item to it and the item i'm going to add is the the first thing will be the first name last name uh, and i mean title first name middle name and last name so um, since we are going to be using that uh, you know, six times i'm going to create variables that actually hold those names rather than uh, just putting values directly from the text boxes. I'm going to capture those values into variables. So uh, I'm going to create a first variable and it's going to be a variable. It's going to be a string and it's going to be called a uh, first name. First name. I'm going to start with the lowercase. That's the first one variable. Uh, another string will be obviously the middle name. Another one will be uh, the last name. And finally, another string will be the title, the miss or misses and stuff like that. So uh, I can now assign values to these uh, variables. So my first name will hold a value from the text box called txt first name dot text. So whatever the text in the uh, text box is will be passed into the variable first name. Middle name obviously will have the uh, txt middle name dot text. Uh, last name will be uh, the txt dot last name dot text. And finally dot title will hold value from the text box title. So now we have our variables and we can now construct the string based on that. The first one we'll add to our list box is uh, the title plus a space. So the, uh, so the string is not put together, you know, like uh, without spaces. So uh, it will say miss space, then first name. We'll add a space. Then it's going to be middle name, another space, and we'll add the last name. And I'm going to copy this because the other ones will be kind of similar. 
The next one is first name, middle name and last name without the title. So I'm just going to delete the title and leave the rest. That was easy. The next one is going to be just the first name and last name. So again, I'm going to copy paste that and it's going to, I'm just going to leave the first name space and last name like that. And the next one is uh, last name, then comma, first name, uh, then middle name, comma, and then myth. So uh, this is going to be, we'll have to append the uh, the commas to it. So um, again, we start with the last name. So I'm gonna actually going to delete this since this is going to be kind of new. So it's last name. Then we'll add the comma with a space if you look at it uh, actually let me just copy that so we can see it right here so you have a last name now and a comma then we can add the uh, first name so it's gonna be uh, first name then a space then a middle name and then a comma again with a space and lastly we'll add the title so actually let me just copy all these so I know how the string is supposed to be formatted so we can when we run it we know whether or not the uh, uh, output is actually correct. All right, so that's our number four. Number five is last name, comma. It's basically the same, but without the title. So I'm going to copy paste the whole thing and remove the last comma and a title. So it will be Smith, Kelly, and Jane. And lastly, we are doing the uh, Smith Kelly. So that's uh, basically uh, the last name and the first name. So last name and the first name with a comma though. So uh, we have a last name, comma, first name. All right, so these are our strings that are formatted so let's run it and see if we get the names correct so we have our first name is uh, kelly and the next the middle name is uh, jane last name is smith and finally we have our miss and i click format name so let me just scroll down here and we can compare. So first one says Miss Kelly Jane Smith. That's correct. Kelly Jane Smith. This is the second one. Kelly Smith. And then Smith, comma, Kelly, Jane, comma, and Miss. The next one is Smith, comma, Kelly, and Jane. And last is the Smith, comma, and Kelly. So the formatter works as expected. Okay, so yeah, this is all. This is a very simple exercise uh, that kind of uh, shows you how to put the values from the text boxes into variables and how to use those variables uh, and how to output them and also how to concatenate the string with uh, additional characters, like in our case it was the comma and spaces. So I hope you liked the video and I will see you in the next one. Take care.